It's a new year, and the Persona 3 portable PC port is on the horizon. Since the start of January, I decided to go through the Persona 3 manga to hold me over while I wait for the game to be released. This video contains some Japanese names that I'm horrible at pronouncing, so my god, please forgive me. The story of the Persona 3 manga was structured in a very non-linear way. It felt like he was focusing on the characters and their personal story arcs rather than worrying about telling the story from start to finish in a straight line. Some of the fights against the full moon bosses are just skipped entirely, or only mentioned briefly. It does get more linear towards the later parts of the story, but everything from the start of the game to defeating the 12th Arcana is very non-linear and jumps around a bit. Now because of the way the story is told, I would strongly advise against anyone going this route as their first experience through the story. The best way to experience the story for the first time will always be just playing the video game. The author also includes little notes and comics in between some of the chapters. Some just say how excited he is about Persona and a few silly things. And some of his little comics just poke fun at himself like this one here. He also has this big explanation slash apology. The end of volume 6 where he says why Persona 3 was delayed for two and a half years? Which says that he was publishing Persona 3 in Denkeki Mao magazine and because of its popularity, he was doing the Persona 4 manga in their quarterly magazine at the same time. The two magazines merged, and the publisher would rather have the newer, more popular Persona 4 manga be published instead of Persona 3. So the Persona 3 manga was sent packing with nowhere to go, in his own words. Shuji and his studio went through a good deal of effort exploring the ways they could still publish the Persona 3 manga, but had little luck. It wasn't until Persona 4 The Animation, Persona 4 Arena, and Persona 4 Golden all coming out in close proximity of each other that Persona guys own magazine due to increased popularity. It was in this new Persona magazine that the Persona 3 manga got a new home and came out of its 2.5 year hiatus. Damn. Seeing his little comics and notes between chapters really did add to my enjoyment of the manga. It's also what made me want to look into the guy more and make this video in the first place. But on another note, who is Shuji Sogabe anyway? Before trying to read the Persona 3 manga, I certainly never heard of him before. If you go looking for his name on sites like IMDb, My Anime List, or Wikipedia, there isn't really a very complete page about what he's worked on. His blog is currently suspended and inactive at the time of making this video. Hell, I even saw on a Wikipedia page for some PSP game named Soul Trigger that he's credited as an artist that was not listed anywhere else I looked. Also, only 18 people even have him listed as a favorite on my anime list, and most of his other mangas he's worked on are not crazy popular on that website either. The most notable thing you can really find is the Persona 3 and 4 manga. IMDB does seem to credit him for working in the animation department of the first Persona 3 movie, as well as the art department of Persona 5. He also did character designs for the God Eater anime, as well as a few not very well-known manga, according to my anime list. Maybe one day I'll try to access that blog of his through the Wayback Machine in a future video. Someday. When it comes to him being an artist too, these covers he's made for the manga are just excellent. I went back while writing this script and just looked at the covers and all of them are really good. I'm not great at describing why I like art, but you know, I like them. They're good. He seems to be the kind of guy that does great work, but not the kind of work that gets wide recognition. 
He's an artist, a character designer, or key animator on many projects, but the man doesn't even have his own Wikipedia page. But all in all, his work on the Persona 3 manga is worth looking at if you're a fan and have already played the game, and I appreciate his work on the franchise. And I hope this video shines some light on this man to the community at large and maybe get even more people to give the manga a read.